Hi, I'm Christy. Hi, I'm Katie. I'll be your tester today. Okay. And these two are, will be your assistants. You can examine your equipment as I read you the instructions for this station. Okay. okay. This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to provide spinal immobilization to a supine patient using a long spine immobilization device. You arrive on scene with an EMT assistant. The assistant EMT has completed the scene survey as well as a primary assessment and no critical condition requiring any intervention was found. For the purposes of this evaluation, the simulated patient's vital signs remain stable. You are required to treat the specific, isolated problem of a suspected, unstable spine using a long spine immobilization device. When moving the simulated patient to the device, you should use the help of both EMT assistants. One assistant EMT should control the head and cervical spine of the simulated patient, while you and the other assistant move the simulated patient to the immobilization device. You are responsible for the direction and subsequent actions of the EMT assistants. You may use any equipment available in this room. You have 10 minutes to complete this procedure. Do you have any questions? No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna walk in and be aside, and I'm gonna have you hold C-spine, please. I'm gonna come down and check CMS. I'm gonna check the pulses. Does she have good pulses? Pulses are good. Okay. Ma'am, can you feel me touching your hands? Yes. Which hand am I touching? Right. And now? Left. Can you squeeze? Can you move with your fingers? Okay. And how about pedal pulses? Pulses are good. And which foot am I touching? Right. Now? Left. Can you push up on my hands? And can you feel me touching you? Yes. Okay. Uh, right now I'm gonna measure for a C collar. How's that feel? Can you still breathe? Yes. Okay. And if you'd come down and help me roll, I'm going to have you put your hands across your chest and we'll crisscross arms. And on her count of three, we'll roll one, two, three. I'm going to position the board appropriately. Sorry. And on her count of three, we'll roll back. One, two, three. And now we need to move her up as a unit, up and over. So if you want to grab the hips, I'll grab up here the torso. And on her count of three, we'll move up and over. One, two, three. OK. At this point, I'm going to check and see if she needs any padding behind her torso. She feels OK to me. I'm going to secure her to the board. Finally, you can let go of C-spine. I'm going to do one more CMS check. Does she have good pulses? Pulses are good. Okay. Can you feel me touching your hands? Yes. Can you squeeze? Which hand am I touching? Right. Now? Left. And pedal pulses? Pulses are good. Okay. Can you feel me touching? Yes. Which one? Right. How about now? Left. Can you push up? All right. And I'm done with the station.